Hey YouTube, Aaron Robbins here with a very quick fully beta tutorial. Um, I did a video tutorial demonstration on how to export a model with baked vertex color out of Magic of Voxel and use the default Blender render in that. And uh, Kevin from the YouTube channel asked on how what would a workflow look like for cycles. So I'm going to show you how to do that with the cycles render in Blender really quickly. Just have a new scene here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the cube and then I did have a model. I promise you this came from Magic of Voxel using the new uh, bake option that came in 0.97.2. So we're going to import that model right here. And there we go. So we'll just hit import. That guy will come in. He's somewhere up in the atmosphere right now, so we're going to use set geometry to the origin of the scene. Uh, and there he is. I'll also um, go ahead and just get rid of my lamp just for fun. Okay, so now we'll switch over to the Cycles Renderer. We're going to go ahead and select uh, your model that came out of Magic of Voxel, and we're going to go ahead and go over to the Materials tab and Apply Material. And that's all we need to do there. But what I want to show you is also while your model selected, on the uh, Data tab here, um, you notice that under Vertex Color, some information came in from Magic of Voxel. So we have this attribute here that has data on it, or Vertex Color data on it, and it's called Call. And that name right there, that C-O-L, is very important. Because to get the Vertex Color to show up on the model, we'll go ahead and open up another window here. We're going to go ahead and change our view on this new window over to the uh, Node Editor. Just like that. And you can see, uh, because we created a material on this guy just two seconds ago, we have this uh, diffused BSDF right here. And what we're going to do is go ahead and select Add. We're going to select an input is what we want to add. So that's down here. And an attribute is what we want, because we are going to grab the data that was on this vertex color thing and send it over this way. So we'll connect the color channel to the color channel there. And then when it wants to know what uh, you're looking for, it's call that we're looking for, and those names have to match. So now that those names match, uh, back over here, we can go ahead and select render mode, and you can see that uh, we are using the cycle renderer with vertex color coming from Magic Box. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and do whatever else you're supposed to do on YouTube. I don't know.